Well, it's been a while. I'm on the back lane testing some new kit today. I'm using an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I've also been scouring eBay for some something called a Moment Lens. Uh, I've got a few of them, actually. Uh, this one is the 18mm equivalent. Uh, hopefully, it means I can uh, speak to the camera like this. And, uh, it, yeah, you won't be uh, super close. I've also got the uh, 58mm one, which will give me really, really long uh, sort of tele-zoom sort of shots. And, uh, yeah, it, it, will, it will couple nicely with the uh, the little additions I've got for the iPhone. Oh, a bit one I've got something called a small rig cage with some grips as well. Uh, handles, basically, left and right. I'm only using one today because I'm obviously riding the bike. And that will be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, I've also got some other little fantastic lens, which is uh, it's uh, it's like a cinema lens. It's a 1.33 moment lens. <laughs> I love it. It's great. It does a uh, little bit of a blur. A bit pointless out the countryside during the daytime because there's no light source. But when it starts getting a bit dark, uh, the lights will well you'll see in uh, probably up and coming video shots really. But uh, yeah, quite impressed. And also I'm using the Smart Mic Bluetooth. I was uh, hoping my other little uh, wireless, ma uh, wireless mic would turn up today in the post, but uh, we're still waiting. It got stuck at customs at Heathrow, and I'm guessing the, uh, the little flight little drama which happened a few days ago with air traffic control has slowed things down. So that might be here, might be here next week. We'll see. pulled over for a car what was just coming back with it being a single track it can be a little bit tight sometimes when cars come past you so yeah i'm not in any rush today and i'm not i'm not really doing any miles so i'm just going to be uh, pulling over as and when the cars come along i just want to test and see what this camera looks like and the stabilization the quality i'm going to be filming in probably prores i think it's this prores actually and uh yeah this will be prores with uh, what 422 and it's probably in the least because uh, ProRes storage just swallows up uh, space. Um, I think that last segment I did was about three minutes long. It's probably been cut down considerably, obviously, for the editing purposes, but that was nearly seven gigabytes in size. So it's huge. Um, I would normally go, see, there's a car coming down there, look. I would normally go with um, a smaller format like uh, HD64, which is fantastic, 10-bit or even 8-bit for that matter, there's not much in it, but I want to start color grading this footage uh, with some moment lots, which I've been doing. In fact, there's a lot to tell you about the moment stuff, and uh, I'll get to it in a few moments. I'm going to head to the corner after this car's come by me, and uh, yeah, I'll tell you a bit more about it and show you some more lenses. <music> So that'll be a little bit of a test for the moment lenses. So that's the uh, cinematic 1.33 ratio, which is what this video is filmed in. Uh, that one's got a, what is it, like a blue, I forget the terminology for it, but it's got a, like a blue streak on it on light, which is why I put the front light on. Yeah, I'm not really convinced, but it's the widescreen and the way it actually treats the image is, is obviously what I'm looking for. I'm looking for more of a, uh, not a cinematic, I hate that word, but yeah, I'm looking for a bit more on the video quality and that may well be uh, a really good lens. I don't know. We'll have to see what this comes out in the edit. This one at the moment is the 18mm. Uh, this takes this standard iPhone lens, which is normally vlogging, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. So obviously that's without it. As you can see, I might be a little bit closer there. So this is without the lens. And if I just uh, gently put that back on, that one should be a little bit more uh, palatable. I'm only at a gentle arm's length for the moment as well, so that one, pretty good, hopefully. Um, the other one, which uh, we tried, was the 58mm, which hopefully 
I don't know actually, it doesn't look much different on the actual camera screen, on the, uh, on the iPhone screen, but it may well bring in a bit more detail. Yeah, every time a car comes by, they see a camera out, they always uh, slow down and have a good ganders. Yeah, so what I've done already is I put the iPhone with the cage and the handle and the lens with the cap on inside the tail fin. So the tail fin, it sticks in quite nicely, so it will sit in there and the handle will just hang out the bottom there. And that works quite well. When this mic turns up, I've got a Seven Artisans new wireless mic, and uh, it's if it's as good as their lenses, I'm quite excited. Uh, but what really sold it to me, the forever saga of trying to get a microphone working with whatever device, whether it would be an action camera um, or the iPhone, you have to go for adapters, and there is just no simple way of doing it, really. Adapters for the iPhone, it's a lightning port, three point, uh, lightning port to 3.5, which is an Apple thing. You can get third pi, but they're not as good. Uh, but they still work, but they're not as good. And um, then it goes into a TRRS, probably, uh, converter cable, 3.5 mil, into whatever device it is. The 7 out of Sam 1, the wireless mic, has a dedicated cable, thank God, which goes directly into lightning port, into the transmitter, one cable. So if that's... If that's working i'm going to be a happy boy i'll leave it to it thank you very much for viewing today if you like what you see please do drop me a like hit me a comment underneath and as always i'll see you in the next video bye bye